Alright guys, in today's video, I thought it would be fun to do my top 10 Charlotte Tilbury products. Obviously, if you have been to my channel before, you know that I love Charlotte Tilbury. I obviously don't love everything that she has in her brand, but I do love a majority of her products. And I think it's important when choosing luxury beauty that you know what is the best of the best and what to actually spend your hard-earned money on if you are looking to try out some luxury beauty products. So... I thought I would just quickly run through my top 10 and then kind of mention my bottom three just so you know that I'm not totally obsessed with the brand and I, I obviously don't recommend everything. I think that she does really amazing products and then I think she does average products and then there has been a few that are just not for me. So before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, ring that bell, leave your comments down below and like the video if you do, share if you'd like to share and let's just get straight into it. The first product will be no surprise, again, if you've seen my channel, this is the Charlotte Tilbury, I guess I don't need to mention the Charlotte Tilbury, obviously it is, since this is a top 10 Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter for Superstar Youth Glow. This is in the shade 4 medium. I actually want to get some more shades. I'd love to get the number one shade just to use it as a highlight over top of my foundation, but my favorite use for this is using it underneath my foundation. It offers just the slightest amount of coverage and it really does give you that filtered effect. It almost is like, how could I compare? It's like pantyhose over your face. It just adds a very smooth, beautiful filter that kind of adds a soft focus effect to your skin. It does blur the appearance of imperfections. It's just such a beautiful product. It gives you a slight glow. I use this on days when I'm just running errands and just need something really quick on my face but that enhances my skin and makes me look just a little better than if I have no makeup on at all. Again, you can use this mixed into foundation over top. It's truly a product that you have to try out to um, see its wonders because it's really hard to explain, but because it is different than like a primer, it's different than a highlighter, it's different than a foundation obviously, but it's just truly one of my favorite products from the brand. The next product that I have to talk about is the, sh the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I think it's the Micro Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. I wear the shade Medium. I also have the shade 1 that I like to use for under my eyes, but I prefer this on the face. This is just perfection if you want to blur the appearance of pores and textures, especially in the T-zone. And it's just such a light powder that really doesn't look heavy on the skin. I have dry skin, so I don't like a lot of powders. I find them very finicky. I find that they look just drying on my skin, but this is one of the best pressed powders that I have ever tried. And it also is really good if you do need to touch up. Sometimes if I'm having a really long day and I'm at work all day and then I have to go somewhere, I do like to just touch up just in my pore areas, maybe in my chin. And it really helps, well first it, helps the appearance of any greasiness that you has, have, but it doesn't add texture onto the skin. It's such a light coverage product, but does just really help blur things out, especially as the day has gone on. Maybe your pores are peeking through. Maybe there's a bit of, you know, some foundation separation. It just really ties the whole look back together again, and it never cakes up. This is such a perfect powder. It's, it is my perfect powder. So Charlotte Tilbury kind of first started out with her quads, and while I do love them, I have a new favorite, which I was actually really shocked by, and I wasn't going to pick this one up, but then I heard the, the formula was reformulated, so I just decided that I wanted to try it out, but this has become my new favorite Charlotte Tilbury quad, so I'm very happy about that. This is the Queen of Glow Luxury Eyeshadow Palette. So again, she did reformulate this, the difference that I find with these is that, well, first of all, the pop shade isn't that, um, it kind of was a sheer sh um, sparkle beforehand, so you would have to pick it up with your fingers and you'd apply it, and it would just give the slightest amount of coverage, like, or pigmentation, but it would give the most sparkle, and it looked very beautiful in candlelight, very similar to the Tom Ford toppers, if you've ever tried those before, or similar to, like, an hourglass topper, but these ones give you more of a pigment. They're definitely more powdery, like I said, more pigmented, and they don't give you as much of that sparkle, but it has, I think, the perfect amount of sparkle to it, that it does glow like by candlelight or in the dark, and I really love it. It's that sophisticated shimmer, but it's just a bit more sophisticated, a bit more of a smoother glitter than her previous formula. And again, the mattes, 
I think she really nailed this mat here. Usually her mats you have to really build up and work with, which is perfect if you're a beginner. But if you're someone that just likes, you know how to work with shadows and you're more, I don't know, advanced at it, sometimes you just want to apply it and get it over with. These are very pigmented, velvety, very smooth, easy to work with. And the shimmers are very pigmented as well, especially for her brand. She does usually more sophisticated. You have to build up the pigment. But these are just easy to work with right off the bat. And again, I found them really um, easily blended out. These are a bit more powdery than her other palettes in the past, but I have been absolutely loving this. So really recommend that. Another eyeshadow, I guess kind of an eyeshadow that I have to mention is the Eyes to Mesmerize. I have mine in a few different shades. This one here is the shade Star Gold, but I just love these so much. These give you that perfect supermodel glossy eyed effect. They don't have any glitter particles in it. It's just a very soft sheen. So you get a little bit of shimmer there, but it kind of looks just like, like I said, like a glossy eyelid, kind of like, you know, when you see those editorial supermodel looks where you're like, how the heck does her eye look wet and glossy and perfect? This will give you that. I also find they're just so easy to work with. You need the smallest amount of product. Definitely don't take too much of this. And it just blends out like a dream. This is something I can use if I just need to get ready super quick, but I want to look really put together and like I can go out and do an event and just put this one shadow on and feel really confident and good about my makeup. The one thing I will say about this is that if you're using an eye primer, set it because it can kind of move around. But once, if I use an eye primer and set my eye primer and then apply this, it is good for the day. It's not going to move. I love these. I recommend all the shades that she has because Obviously the formula is the same, so just whatever color that you are drawn to. I love that cream shadow. Of course, I have to mention the classic lip cheat. I have mine in Hot Gossip and Pillow Talk. I highly recommend both of these. Pillow Talk is that classic light rosebud shade, and she just came out with some new colors that will work for medium skin tones and deeper skin tones to give you that perfect your lips but better. It's definitely more on the pinky side, but I just love that kind of rosebud color. I think it looks just stunning with any sort of eye look. You can just be wearing tinted moisturizer and put this on and it will look beautiful. Again, it's that your lips but better and it truly is. And then Hot Gossip is a bit deeper and it's more on the brown side. It's not as pink as Pillow Talk. So I'm wearing Hot Gossip today actually. And I just love these. The formula is very creamy. It's pigmented and it's kind of like a waxy texture I'd say, but it lasts all day on the lips. Um, like you could probably put a lip balm on over top but it's a formula that doesn't, again, it doesn't cling. It's not overly pigmented that you're going to be drawing outside the lines. I think this is a very beginner friendly lip liner. And again, it's not too drying. Some lip liners, I put them on and they just feel like a matte lipstick and I don't want that. This one is smooth and creamy and never feels dry on my lips. So I love that, obviously recommend it. And I have to talk about her lipsticks. I'm just going to mention the Matte Revolution and the, what are these? The Kissing Lipstick. I, I think that's what it's called. I love both of these formulas. This is the only matte lipstick, the Matte Revolution, is the only matte lipstick that works on my lips. Others are just too drying. This one is creamy, but it's not overly dry. I love Pillow Talk and Bitch Perfect. Those are my favorites. And then for the Kissing formula, ugh, this is my favorite. It's so creamy. It's so hydrating. It's not a very opaque lipstick. It has a bit more of a thinner texture, but I love that because it doesn't ever like glop up on the lips. You're not gonna have it sitting in lines or anything. It just glides on smoothly. It's all kind of like a velvety feeling and it just leaves your lips feeling very hydrated and plump. And you never feel like your lips are dry and it's just a really lovely formula that's not, again, it's not overly glossy where you feel like you're gonna have it spilling outside your lip lines, which I guess doesn't really happen with many lipsticks, but it's a very comfortable formula that I can wear all day long and not feel like I have dry lips or anything. So I love those lipsticks. I have to talk about the Hollywood, I never know the names of these cause she always has really long names, but this is the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand and this is the shade Spotlight. So she did come out with different shades in these. She has blush tones and a more gold tone highlighter. This shade is just, it's a really light champagne color and it's so gorgeous on the skin. You can actually, this is a cream highlighter and you can actually use this over top of powders and it never looks cakey. It gives you a really intense sheen, but it's not sparkly in any way. It gives you, I mean, if you apply a little bit of product, you can get away with that natural tone, 
but you can also, it's so intense because it is so light reflective and it's really beautiful. It is a product that you have to work quick with. So I would just recommend applying it section by section and blending as you go because you can't apply this all over your face and then blend it in because it does set down and dry down, which is another reason why I love this because it's going to, it's going to stay on your face all day. The packaging is a little annoying, but I can get past it because this product is really beautiful and it's something I like to use for going out for dinner or more special occasions because it is a little more on the intense side, but very beautiful. It doesn't emphasize texture and just lays on the skin very prettily. Another complexion product I love are the Cheek to Cheek Swish and Glow Blushers. This one is in the shade Pillow Talk. I have Ecstasy and I have Love Glow, but I gave Love Glow to my mom and then I left Ecstasy at my mom's house when I was staying over there. So I just have the Pillow Talk one on hand. But these are really a beautiful formula. They're very silky in texture. So the one thing I would say about this is be careful if you are ever planning on traveling with them because they're so finely milled that they break super easily. So don't take this in your handbag to touch up with. Just don't do it because they will break. And sometimes when Sephora has shipped them over, I have had to return them because they arrive shattered just because the texture is so finely milled and yeah, very breakable. But these are so lovely. These are blushes that have a bit of a sheen to them. I don't think you'll be able to see this color on me. It's a, just a very beautiful kind of bronzy shade, but they give you a very beautiful glow, but they're not shimmery in an obnoxious way. And they're also not overly shimmery where it's going to emphasize texture. These lay on the skin very beautifully. They give you just such a soft and subtle glow. I would compare them, if I were to compare them to any other blush, it would be the Hourglass blushes, except the Hourglass blushes have a bit more sparkle in them. These have no sparkle, just more of a sheen and a shimmer. Very, very lovely on the skin. These wear all day for me. I just think they look really pretty. I love the different colors that she has. I like the idea of the Swish and Pop, but to be honest, I mix both the colors together because I just like how they look mixed. So I had to recommend this guy. It was honestly really hard to narrow down my final two because I have another one that I want to mention, but I'm going to try not to. <laughs> this is the Magic Vanish Corrector. So I really like this because it is not a corrector that is so overly orange and peach. This gives you just a very natural color correction, which works perfectly because you only need the tiniest amount just right under, like, I don't know, the inner part of your eye where you're blue. So only put it where you're blue. You need the smallest amount. It's very creamy and emollient blends into the skin beautifully and it really does help color correct but it's not like I said overly orange or peach where you have to go in with a ton of concealer just to cover up that color corrector um, which again is kind of defeating the point because you're just applying so much makeup it looks silly so I like this because you just apply the smallest amount and then you go over top with your normal amount of concealer and it just looks beautiful it also helps the longevity of my concealer over top so if I'm gonna have a really long day this is something I will wear underneath. This is also something I like to wear if I have a more special occasion because I know it's just more perfecting than just having concealer on its own by itself. If you don't have dark circles, obviously you don't need this, but I just find that this has really helped and I'm really enjoying this. I love how creamy it is, but it's not overly creamy that it's gonna sit in creases. So I'm very happy with this purchase. And then my final recommendation, is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Palette. So I have to say, I have been obsessed with this. I use it, I try actually, I have to force myself not to use it every day because I just love the colors in here. I used to think that peaches and pinks don't look the best on me, but after film, I don't know if that video will be up yet, but after filming my two looks with this and doing a review, I love how these look. This pigmentation, she's just doing her mattes very well. They're not overly powdery. They're something that I would recommend to a beginner because I do think, um, like I said, they're not overly powdery where they're so pigmented to work with that you're gonna be overwhelmed as a beginner. They're very buildable. They build on on themselves beautifully. They blend out like a dream. Um, yeah, I just think that she really, this is probably my favorite instant palette that she has created. Now, I did wanna mention something else because I, it, it does say that this is limited edition and I wanted to do this video with no limited edition products. So in case this, I feel like it will become permanent just because it's such a classic. I did want to mention something else just in case. So I've never actually mentioned this on my channel, but this is the Supermodel Body 
This is so beautiful. Let me put a little bit on so you can see it in action. So it's similar to her kind of Hollywood wand that you have to twist it and then it's either on or off. And it just comes out in this little roller ball. So you just roll it on your skin. So I'll just apply it to my shoulders. Um, I'll do a little on my chest, you can't really see here. And then you can just blend it in. I would typically use a brush, but I'll just wash my hands after. It gives you such a gorgeous glow, but it's a body cream or a body, I don't know what she calls this. It's just a shimmer. It's a shape hydrating glow. It doesn't dry down per se, but it won't, it's not overly oily where it's going to transfer onto your clothes. And it gives you, again, she does subtle sheen really beautifully because some body oils and why I don't like them, one, fragrance. Another thing is that I feel like there's glitter chunks in them. Like, the, you know, the Patrick Ta one, I feel like it's just a little too glittery. This just gives you, again, it's similar to the Flawless Filter and then it gives you kind of pantyhose over your skin. So I guess if you're wearing pantyhose. So I love to apply this to my legs if I'm wearing a dress. It just gives you, you just glow in the light and it just adds something. It's like a touch that no one would notice, but you just look more smooth. Like you look smoothed out and it gives you that filtered effect on your skin. Um, I have used this on my skin before, to be honest. If Just if I want something that's a bit more bronzier, just um, underneath my foundation. And I've never broken out from it, but I don't know if that's suggested. So maybe take that with a grain of salt. But I am really happy with this. So I wanted to mention that just in case this does end up actually being limited edition. Now let's move on to my worst of... I don't have any of these. Oh no, I have one foundation in my collection, but I don't have the rest in my collection because I threw them out or they went bad. So the first is the Charlotte Tilbury, well, any of the foundations, to be honest. The Light Wonder, it's average for me. It's not amazing. It's just kind of like meh. Like it doesn't do anything amazing for my skin. It just is like a tinted moisturizer. And if I'm going to spend that kind of money, I want it to blur imperfections, perfect my skin. I want it to wear all day. I don't want to be, I don't have to look in the mirror throughout the day and wonder what my foundation is doing. So it's just a little finicky and it's not my favorite. The new foundation she came out with is just too matte for me. It's too full coverage. I just can't get it to work. It looks very dry on me. And then the Magic Foundation was such a weird one because I thought I would like it, but it just, it's like so awkward because it just comes off my skin in patches and not my favorite. So her, com I don't know, her foundations don't really work for me that well. And they all make me break out, which is so frustrating. But anyways. <laughs> The next product that did not work out for me is the Full Fat Lashes. Now I will say, it looks gorgeous on the lashes. It's a beautiful mascara, um, very volumizing. I'd say it's um, similar to the Laura Mercier, the caviar one that I've been talking about in how it applies. The problem is it flakes like crazy. I've never had a mascara that flakes so much. Initially when I put it on, I was so wowed, so amazed. And I went throughout the day being like, oh my God, I, my, my lashes look amazing. And it was the first mascara that came out that made my lashes look that good. So I thought I was going to be so impressed by it. And then at lunchtime, while I'm at work, mind you, so I can't leave and touch up, I look in the mirror and I have black, like, all over my cheekbones. Like, and it's, it wasn't just a little bit of, like, tiny bit of flaking. It was flakes everywhere. Like, it looked like I highlighted my cheeks with a black highlighter. It, it no, it was awful. So, unfortunately... I think it's just something in the formula that makes it flake, at least on my eyelashes. I know everyone's different and some people love it and it doesn't flake on them, but unfortunately on me it does. And then the last one I have to mention is the Wonder Glow Primer. Now this isn't bad, it's not awful, but it's just average for what it is. Again, it's like meh. It gives you a bit of a glow, but if I were to tell you to spend your money on something that's similar, I would say the Buy Terry CC Cream or just go for the Hollywood Flawless Filter because that is better by 110% and I would recommend it 100 million times over the Wonder Glow. The Wonder Glow, it gives you just too much of a subtle glow where it won't show up under, like if you put it on as a primer and you put your foundation over top, it's too subtle that it won't show through your foundation. And then it's not perfecting enough to wear on its own as like a tinted moisturizer because it, it doesn't blur imperfections. Not that it enhances them, but it just, gives you like a, a little sheen, but it doesn't add any coverage and it's not perfecting in any way. Where I find that the By Terry and the Flawless Filter, it is perfecting on your skin 
maybe has the slightest bit of coverage and is perfecting on texture and pores and stuff like that. So I just can't recommend it because I just feel like, like why, why, why? It's just a why. Um, but that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 Charlotte Tilbury products. Now there are many more that I could mention that I love, like I just have to sneak in. I've been really loving the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk new lip liner. And I love a lot of her quads, but again, these are just my top 10 that I think are really worth the money. And if I were, if someone were to ask me what I would recommend from the black brand, these would be my first 10 that I would go to. And again, I love so many of her other products. I think the Dolce Vita palette is amazing. Okay, I'm, I can't keep on bringing in other palettes into this or products into this because I'm cheating. So I'm gonna stop here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below what your favorite Charlotte Tilbury product is. And, or if you've never tried the brand, tell me if you'd love to try something. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thumbs this video up, share it if you wanna share it. Um, like it, I think I've said everything. I need to get better at this. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.